Hi friends, welcome to Aishu DIY. This is Halloween series number four. Um, here is an earrings. It doesn't have anything to do with skull or something like that, but it is just that orange and the black uh, earrings that I have combined with some gold. And uh, if you want to wear just uh, the color theme, that's about it. And you don't want any skull or something, you can wear this. So. Um, this finding uh, is from Beatbox Bargains. So I got it, I think, um, in August, my Bargain Beatbox uh, subscription. So so I have two of these. I have some two by three millimeter um, crystals, Chinese crystals, and this one is three by four, I believe. And a small um, uh, crystal, I think it's two by, I don't know. It's an elongated crystal. It's uh, metallic on one side and it's transparent on the other side. I thought if I give some depth to the speaker bead, the other things will look nice. And uh, because it's um, yeah, it's an elongated bead like this, so it won't hinder the other uh, orange color beads, which is smaller. So that's what I thought. So this is the design I planned. First, I planned just this. But let me tell you guys, um, if I do this, it will be way too close and then it will uh, push these other um, beads that I want to put on the side and then it might look a little odd. This way, if I um, give, if I add one more bead, then I, I thought that will be a nice design so that it comes down. So let's, um, tool wise, we need wire cutters, we need... Um, some round nose pliers and I have a tweezer nose pliers these are the tools that we need and let's start making this and some and ear wire we need two ear wires two of these findings and these things any findings you have just use the orange and the black and the gold you can use or you can use any um, color metal you want so uh, these are 28 gauge ball head pins they are very thin but still, uh, but still they hold it together nicely. So here I am going to do a wrap to loop. It's very easy with the 28 gauge. It's really, really flexible. So you don't have to worry about it. So I am just putting it in the middle and then I'm wrapping this thing. So you can, you can manipulate the wire easily with your fingers. It doesn't hurt. Um, so there's a small tail there. So we'll go ahead and tuck it in. Even though it's a thin wire, it will still poke if it is. Um, there you go. So now we have attached the center part. Then we will go ahead. I have uh, just put all the beads inside the head pins. So that's easier for us to work with. But um, I bend this to a 90 degree angle, reposition my pliers and bring it around the loop so that I have a question mark like this and then I reposition my pliers again and this is my loop. Now before I wrap it around, I insert it to the uh, findings that I have right here, the loop in the findings and then I'm just going to wrap it around the bead. So, if you think about it, I'm just gonna, this is very thin and it broke on me. I'm just gonna cut this off. I'm just gonna use another one because the height was a little bit long when I tried to squish it, it just kind of broke because I was being harsh with it. Um, I always prefer 24 gauge wire for this wrapping, but um, I ran out of my 24 gauge wire ball, I mean head pins. I don't even have the regular ones, I forget the ball but i really like the ball um head pins because it gives a nice element at the end and the sparkle looks really nice so here we are the next one the wrap loop
and then I like to insert it from the front so that my loop is nice and tidy in the front and then I can tuck in the trail tail in the back so there you go so here is my short tail that I'm gonna tuck in a little bit inside there you go and here also a small tail is poking and then I'll go and make my pliers and tuck it in hopefully I did a good job and there we go this part of the earring is done so it's um, easier to do the wrap loop with a thinner wire than the thicker wire um, because it will be flexible and then you can just wrap it and see how it goes so initially I would recommend if you can use a thinner wire to do a wrap loop once you get good at it then you can move on to a thicker wire I used my wires cutters with to snip the ends and let me see if there is a tail which I can't so there is one more this is a head pin I'm loading the bead inside the head pin and then now we can make a wrapped loop like that if you work hard on this um, thin head pins then it will break very easily so it's better uh, to not work hard on it and uh, that's why i didn't even straighten it out because anyways i'm gonna just um uh, it's easy wire wrap so it's thin so you don't have to even straighten it out and then i'll snip off the end make sure there is a small tail right there let's just uh, tuck in that small tail right there and then in this also I will check if it is there then I will tuck it in there you go guys I hope it's clear and if you have a 24 gauge head pin I would um, I would prefer that in, ga in 28 gauge at least 26 gauge would be fine this 28 gauge but the dangles look very teeny tiny and nicely jiggling around i kind of like it because the wire is not overpowering anything and you can see the beads much better so this is our earrings that we have right here i hope you guys like this video Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel for future um, videos like and subscribe thank you so much for watching have a good day bye bye